I'm hungry. Like, hangry, actually. Not gonna eat. Tomorrow's Sunday. We're gonna refeed tomorrow. We'll probably have some soup. I don't really want the soup that we had last time, though. Michelle and I are still going back and forth about that. I'm thinking now I really want, like, maybe some chicken soup or some shrimp soup. Uh, definitely gonna have some bone broth to break our fast, and we're gonna have that in the morning. We're gonna boil off some bone broth tonight. Get that going. Because last time when we ate on... Tuesday it really wasn't that bad on Tuesday but when we refed on Sunday we had our keto chow mein I, I couldn't even finish making the recipe video honestly because I was just so freaking hungry but just the food cooking and, and seeing it and smelling it it was just overtaking me like I felt sick I felt like I wanted to throw up my stomach was churning I almost felt like I wanted to pass out like my body was just like pushing me to just 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 eat it just put it in your mouth just stop fasting so and that's how I'm feeling I feel every time we cook something it's this overwhelming just need to eat so I know that we're not quite figuring this out yet we we got a ways to go and you know stuff to learn and we will learn it get this down get this hunger under control i don't know if it's true hunger or if it's just detoxing or um uh, what is it withdrawal whatever the fuck i'm just hungry i know that <laughs> and i think i've been a little hangry these past couple of days because my weight you know i've gotten on the scale every day and it's basically stayed the same i'm like i went up on Tuesday after we ate I went up a couple pounds so I was like 171 and I've basically been hovering at 170 these past couple of days which part of me is like upset about that because I want all the suffering I want results but the other part of me ain't tripping because I know that one it's gonna come off and my body is just having to adapt and get used to fasting and this is new we just started it hasn't even actually tomorrow we'll make one month so we gotta do our update, take these clothes off, and do some comparisons. And there is the differences in my body. I I see some differences. Even though the scale may not have moved in this past week, I definitely see that uh, some things going on. This poop was way lower. Um, my arms seem smaller. My legs seem smaller. Everything is just shrinking up, which is great. I, I can't even lie, I'm just so ready to get to the maintenance phase. This has been a long journey, and I'm talking about even before starting fasting. Like, I've been really at this strong and hard since 2015. May of 2015 is really when I got up off my ass and started getting honest and getting real and working on me, and I'm tired. It's funny because I'm I'm tired yet I'm obsessed <laughs> with it. Love talking about it. Love watching videos. These last three years, almost four years, have been a challenge. Nothing about weight loss is easy. If somebody's coming at you trying to sell you something or say that it's gonna be easy and quick, that's a lie. Cause it's not easy and it's not gonna be quick. And we all know when people do them overnight things and they drop a bunch of weight real, real quick and they gain it all back. And I am not trying to do that. No. I want to get this off. Keep it off. I want to master fasting. Master this diet. I, really today I've been thinking about zero carb. Like we need to just do zero carb. I've been struggling with my sweet addiction. Made them nasty ass keto peanut butter cookies on Tuesday. I was so disappointed. They just, I'm sorry guys, but keto desserts suck. They do. They just suck. I'm to the point where I just want to give up sweet stuff altogether. If I can't have the real shit, I ain't fucking with the fake stuff because it's nasty. And I know there's people out there like, oh, I got a great recipe for you. Fuck that. I don't even want to eat it. I don't want it because it just makes me want the real stuff more. And I, I got to leave the sugar alone. I just, leave it alone okay so we're gonna eat tomorrow 
We're going to make our broth tonight. As you can tell, your girl's a little frustrated, a little hangry, a little angry. But I'm going to get this, my attitude together and not eat. Holla at you.